Hurry, run outside. Can you believe it? 56 degrees. Warmer well, weather rain, may be it? getting here. Yes, 100% chance of rain today, though. We'll talk more about that in a minute. I got to tell you, man, Saturday was like a winter day. I felt like I was up in the mountains, snowing outside. Well, a little bit, but cold, fire going. It was just good. Anyway, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. It's kind of windy, too. You might notice my hair might be a little bit dislodged from place to place dislodged. this morning. Dislodged. Huh? Uh, dislodged. Your brain is dislodged. Tom joins us this morning. Maybe the mayor show up. Today's his day to be. What's up, Tom? <clears throat> Not much. I was you, like, didn't, you didn't notice it's been a little windy this weekend? Today? Yeah, it was quite a bit windy. <laughs> yeah. I went and got my supplies for snow cream, too, but yeah. I didn't get to use it. We'll talk about that. Gabby knows how to make a milkshake. She'll talk about that a little bit later on this morning, too. Hey, again, thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a Tuesday morning edition. Cooper Company Live right here Athens, Alabama. Frank is on the phone, 2304. You know, a lot of people don't even call our phone here anymore. I don't even know. what we got a recording. We don't even know how to answer it. We don't have a recording. We don't have a recording. Okay, thank you for that update. <laughs> but I tell you what, you can text Gloria 603-4840. That's the best way to get And don't forget. If you want to invest your money wisely, I got a special spring deal running right now. My good bionic looking good. Don't get you can always email me at gmail at countryrover.com. It's countryrover at gmail.com. Oh, what is it? Country <laughs> Rover. No, no wonder I ain't been getting an email lately. I've been giving the wrong address out. Get it to me on my iPad. Promise you I'll get back with you. Y'all know we talked about that last week, Frank, about not, people not getting back. Well, yes, the Huntsville Times Sunday had the same article, a full-page article, Tom, not get, you know, people get upset, frustrated, when they don't hear back from somebody. I'm not texting you anymore. Mm. Good. All right. Yeah, I know, I know you have to text a lot of people during certain hours. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And don't ever contact me during a football game, <laughs> unless it's my buddy Pete or somebody like that. We're roll tied, you know, we're doing that. But anyway, let's get it cranking this morning. Here's a Tuesday morning distributing live starting right now. Here's the weather. No, oh, let's talk about let's that. Let's talk weather. about this weekend. <laughs> no, let's not talk about this weekend. Glad the weekend's over. Let's talk about the weather. 56 <laughs> degrees out there. Yes, this weekend is going to be absolutely beautiful. But today, 100% chance of showers out there with high temperatures around 54. I just said it was 56. So temperatures going to be dropping. Rain's going to be moving on in. So keep an umbrella close today. High temperatures tomorrow of 42 with your low of. 30. 31 and partly cloudy skies still. No rain to worry about though for at least a week, 20% on Sunday. So hopefully we won't even see any rain. But look at the temperatures for the weekend. Absolutely wonderful. Get out, get some sun. We desperately that's need wrong. to get some sun because. That, that's been updated on 48 right a while ago. That said, they said 70. Well, they have the fancy Doppler. Well, there you go. It's over, Frank. Winter's got out of here. No. Don't, uh, don't get change Frank time no. Saturday night. Is that right? Sunday. Don't want to show up at church too early. Huh? Sunday, well, spring forward. Might help some of us to get there early. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. All right, a lot right. of things going on. First of mm -hmm. all, knowledge switch underway today, Tom. <gasps> wow. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 Residents in Athens, Limestone County, serviced by knowledge for their cable, phone, or internet needs, will become wow customers today. They the will. The company plan to mail flyers to its customers, informing them of the changes. The flyer will also detail how their services would change to improve under the new company name, Wide Open West. Wow. It also goes on to say in the news current this morning that they're going to be selling their knowledge trucks. And they got them all lined up down at the old location downtown to where I guess you can purchase one if you uh, need a new truck. So, Can't wait go. to have a knowledge truck. Yeah. yeah I, I was wondering one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Might be pretty expensive. I could drive. <laughs> I, I need to get a company van here for the station. No, you That's have the right. Jeep. Hmm? You have the Jeep. Jeep? Oh, yeah. A lot of us going to get around right around that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bella Mushroom opened van. over the weekend down in Decatur. Diane Holman mm -hmm. and her family, they had the one over in Providence, and now they've uh, mm -hmm. opened one. Said it went great over the weekend. So, Mella Mushroom now opened down in Decatur. Man, the restaurant's popping Good up pizza. all over the place. Good pizza. Mm -hmm. All right. Got a couple of things going on this morning. What are they, Jamie? Legal moonshine, Tom. Just mm -hmm. in time. Yeah. Oh, great. Kentucky, the world's largest bourbon producer, is dipping into moonshine and colorful's past to create its own batch of white whiskey. Jim Beam's newest spirit is called Jacob's Ghost in honor of Jacob Beam, founding distiller of his flagship Jim Beam brand. Hmm. Beam's competition, Heaven Hills, we all <laughs> remember that deal, maker of Evan Wood's bourbon, has his own line of white whiskey. So now you can get moonshine. How many of y'all have nasty, ever tried nasty, nasty. apple pie? 
<laughs> Last time I tried some was two years ago in April. I got to watch the Obama eight day game fall. With your buddy Pete. Let me give a shout out to Pete and Ray Nice this morning. <laughs> Trouble. Being along with me on that little excursion. He went to last chance. Yeah, sure did. Hey, it's getting hot in here, Abby. <laughs> All that hot air you this, told morning. this morning. This morning, nothing compared to that. <laughs> Tom, you ever go fishing? Uh, hadn't lately. What's Been the biggest ago. striped bass you think could possibly be? Gosh, I don't know. What's uh, anyway, happened? James R. Bramlett, 65 years old, landed a 70-pound oh striped bass from the Black Warrior River uh, on this past Thursday. The fish was weighed on certified scales that measured 45 and a half inches long, 37, almost 38-inch girth. The weight topped the current record by 15 pounds. That has stood since 1959. Hmm. Wow. That's about 10 times the fish more than average. The fish of a line. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> friggin' bass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's humongous. It's huge. A big one. I wonder if Beep Beep would know about it. Oh, well, speaking of Beep Beep, <laughs> Rose beep, beep. Some of video Rose today. got to be a DVD in here. Danny Jaws, we may share some up with you this morning and then run it again on Thursday. Hunt. He was out at that Good Springs uh, coon hunt the other day. I bet the two of you have never been on a coon hunt before, have you? No. I'm the only one on the set that's ever been coon hunting. Yeah. Huh. Once. L Los Angeles. Frank, you might have been in class this woman was teaching. Rose Gilbert wanted to be a school teacher since she was in the first grade and was inspired by a teacher, Tom, who taught her to read and write. She carried out her childhood dream. She retired last week at the age of 94 Goodness. after oh, a 63-year wow. teaching career in Los Angeles. She said, I'm going to be 95. I looked in the mirror and I said, better do it now before I get too old. <laughs> <laughs> she already have a good pension plan. Man. Y'all will notice that I'm reading this with my bionic eye. I'll give a shout out to Dr. Davis this morning. Mm -hmm. Now that I can see, You'll see him Friday. Up. She says, today's, get this. Here's, now this woman's been teaching for over 60 years, 94. Today's kids are more self-centered. No. According to the 94-year-old teacher. <laughs> it's the <laughs> entitlement generation, she says, no. Frank. I'm entitled to an A. I'm entitled no. to go to Harvard. I think I think it uh, comes from their parents. Entitlement. Everything's your parents' fault, isn't it? Entitlement. Tom, well, did you get, have an entitlement when you was a kid? No. Hmm. What was it? They that banner that was going around. Um, I, we didn't know about ADHD. When we acted up, we just got our butts. Yeah. Whooped. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. No medication. I saw this in the, Frank, you'll get a kick out of this. I saw this in the gleam. I've got, it's, it's, it's just, I've got to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good, huh? A farmer's daughter had graduated from high school. The oh, father yeah. wanted her to attend college, but the mother was very fearful of it and didn't want her to go. So after much discussion, y'all, the mother reluctantly consented for the daughter to go to college. The daughter hadn't been away too long before the mother received a letter from her daughter. She ran out into the field where her husband was plowing, waving the letter and calling to him. <laughs> hey, you got to see this letter? Hey. That's kind of like what you want. <laughs> the father said, what in the world has happened? The mother replied, she's going to marry a foreigner. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have let her go to college. How do you know that, said the farmer, daddy, plowing. The mother held up the letter and says, listen, I'll read it to you. <laughs> she said, here's what she said. Well, I've fallen in love with ping pong. <laughs> <Jamie>. <laughs> ping pong. <laughs> that's not a person. That's the game. That's just... Well, she didn't know that. <laughs> Do y'all see how much stuff I've got for y'all today? <laughs> Gee. I, I just thought it was funny. I'm I just thought glad it was you're ready this morning. You're huh? just a bundle of information. Yeah, I got plenty of stuff here. All right. <laughs> This is my dear Jamie. Any of it any good? Don't pay attention. All you married people out there are y'all, those of y'all that have a significant other. They exclude some of the people in this room. <laughs> dear Jamie, that's me. Okay. My husband of 28 years and I disagree about privacy issues. I think that as a wife, I should know his email accounts, Tom, his passwords, his voicemail numbers to get messages. If he's on Facebook, et cetera, I should know how to access all of his information. I feel he should be an open book. He says, 
I am nosy, and it's, quote, none of my business. Mm -hmm. he, was, uh, he says he will do what he wants. I think I should be able to read his text messages. He told me it's my cell phone. You have your own. He doesn't, like, he doesn't lock it, but he says he will start locking it. Some <laughs> trust <laughs> issues have surfaced recently, but he says it's all in my head. Dear Jamie, <laughs> what do you think about open communication between a married couple? Hmm. You've had several marriages there, so what do you think? Evidently, not enough open communication. <laughs> Apparently. And uh, it says here, hmm. ironic, you can have all the privacy in the world if you have nothing to hide. True statement. Uh... If you got nothing to hide. Okay, Tom, you're a good son. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you had to teach me how to like it first. So, <laughs> if you're married, yeah. I don't know your passwords. Yes, you do. No, don't, I don't say them out loud. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. My biggest fear when you have my phone is you erasing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or better yet, sending a text to someone that it doesn't need to go to. Well, especially if, what about a photograph? No, yeah, especially those. Or a video. I have a lot of photos in my phone. Oh, That's let me show you the one you sent me the other day. <laughs> if I have inadvertently <laughs> sent you something from me that you weren't supposed to get, send it back. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, stupid out there. I am. It was like the Christmas parade when Max <laughs> sent that picture of that trailer getting stuck. Mm -hmm. And I texted you the next day because they wanted to see it. And I said, hey, can you send me that picture back? <laughs> Didn't realize on that once I get it in my phone, I've got it forever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me tell you all what a dumb ass I am. Hey. <laughs> Be blunt. Brad comes pick me up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I got my trucks. I go pick it up that clean tire. I get an oil change. Mm -hmm. So Brad come pick me. I got me a new briefcase now. It's kind of a satchel. Oh, oh. Let me rephrase that. Let me, let me tell you how smart I saw Einstein. Go ahead. Finish your story. That's a European. I'm going to tell the story or not. You European can tell it. I know y'all are a lot smarter than this. will never happen at y'all's house. Mm. So I walk in. I got my camera <laughs> in one hand. I got my satchel over my shoulder. A satchel. Got my briefcase. cell phone and my wallet because I'm going to have to pay for something. I need all that. Money. So I go out to Brad's car, open up the back door. Push aside the baby, put my stuff in his baby. <laughs> Lay my wallet on top of the vehicle. Top of the car calls. Keith called me, so I'm on the phone. Get in, we drive off. We ain't gone 30 seconds. Phone, his phone rings. Hey, dummies. Uh, <laughs> I did ask say that. Jamie where his wallet is. <laughs> well, good thing I saw it didn't on top have of the it. car. Said, Brad, drive on around the circle. <laughs> Drive around the circle. Had to beat four Mexicans off of it. But <laughs> it was laid out in front of my neighbor's house, this far from the sewage drain. Ooh. It fell off the top of the car, fell open. If it had fallen down in that I drain. I just happened to be watering the plant right there by that big window up to the front of the house and saw you drive off with a wallet on top of the car. That's why I don't carry a wallet. <laughs> There's reasons you don't. I hope Credit you learned something in there. educational today. I'm loaded with. You're other loaded with today. what today? Huh? I thought you had plenty of stuff. I do have plenty. Of stuff. I'm saving the good stuff for later. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to work. It's Tuesday morning. Let's take a break. I'll come back with CNN in just a moment. Y'all, hang on. <laughs>